how to create a new post in WordPress step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll break it down step by step on how you can build your new posts on WordPress, where your posts or blog posts are displayed, and how you can change or create new pages for your blog posts. So let's get into it. Now to get started, simply head on over to your WordPress dashboard. Once you go into your WordPress dashboard, you will see on the left you have a section called Posts. Simply click on this section and this will show you any of the previous posts that you have created. Now keep in mind that you have multiple different ways you can categorize your posts such as categories and tags. Now when you click on all posts, you will see on the left panel you will open up a drop down. In this drop down, you can click on categories over here to start creating your own categories. These are some of the previous categories, but I'm going to delete them and start from scratch and build my own categories. So one category that is called uncategorized is always a default category that remains in WordPress. Now I want to run maybe a food blog, so I will add a few categories just as an example. So let's say this would be pastas and it won't have any parent category and I'm just going to add this. And this next one is going to be desserts. And then we might have pizzas like this. Now, once we have created a few different categories, we can also create tags, but that's not necessary because you can always do that on the go as you are building your posts. So from here, I like to click on add new posts and this will lead you to the post creator on WordPress. From here, you can start building your post. On the top left, you will see this plus icon. If you click on this plus icon, it shows you the different types of blocks that you can insert within your blog. Because your blog doesn't need to be simple text, you can insert a lot of other things within that as well. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the title. So, the best Alfredo pasta you will ever make, like this. After that, I can get started with inserting blocks. Now, keep in mind on the right panel, you have two options, blocks and posts. So in your post section, you will have a few different options about the post. If you want to stick it to the top of the blog, if it should be pending review, who should be the author. Then below that, you have the categories. So I will select the category of pastas over here and then tags. And you can add tags over here to just boost the SEO like this, and I can just add as many tags as I want. Then you have a featured image. Now, this is going to be the image that will appear on other pages when your post is linked. So you can click on upload files to upload your files. And I'll just take this image and I will be using this as a featured image. So I'll click on set featured image. Now, this image will be used when the blog is displayed. From here, I have the discussion and the excerpt. Now, from here, I can click on the plus icon and I will take my little blog from here and we're just going to copy this paragraph. And I'm going to insert the paragraph as it is. So that's just a basic paragraph. Now, I want to add something a bit more interesting because I don't want, you know, my entire blocks or blog to be just simple text so I will click on insert and then I will add a list I can insert a list from here and what I'm going to do is I'll just take this section and I can insert it in the form of a list by going ahead and pasting it like so and I will remove this little section remove the ingredient block I'll just remove that like this and then below that we have this ingredient list. Now let's say I want to add a heading over here. So to do that, I will click on the plus icon here and then I will click on heading and then I will just add ingredients like this. Now below that I can continue with the rest of, you know, the recipe or the blog post, whatever it might be. I'm just going to copy my blog post and you have a few interesting ways you can do that. You have pre-formatted text, pull quotes, tables, you can insert details, code, quotations, list settings, and media files that you can attach as well. You also can insert different buttons. If you are providing a product or service, then you can insert those over here as well. Now I'll just paste my little instructions and 
just as an example, I'll show you guys a few different options. So if I have a pasta that I'm recommended, I can do this. I recommend this pasta noodle. And once I do that, I can insert a button over here like this. And then I'll click on browse all and I can scroll and click on buttons. And then I will insert text recommended pasta. And then in this button, what I will do is I can align it to the middle like this. And what I'm going to just do, put it in the middle. And this is going to be the orientation. Now, over here in the button block, what I'm going to do is we are going to obviously link it. So you guys can see you have the styles of the button and then you have the overall, you know, columns. If you want to create columns, you can do that as well. And then you can just go on ahead and insert the link into the button as well. Now, after that, you can add a lot of other interesting elements as you go. But once you have completed your blog post, you can click on publish on the top right. Now, once you do that, it will show you the visibility and the publishing time. So I want this to be right now, so I'm just going to publish this right now. Once you do that, you can click on view post on the bottom left, and then this will show you your post. Now, for some beginners, this might be difficult to navigate through. So you can go back into your dashboard and then click on view site. Once you click on view site, you will see currently my site page is empty. And that's because in my homepage, I haven't displayed any of my, you know, any of my blog posts. So what you can do if you want to display them directly into the homepage, you can click on your homepage and then click on edit site. Now this will open up the WordPress site editor and this is the homepage of my site. Now you will see on the left you have pages, you have all of the basic information from here and you have, you know, the template that you are using. So I'm going to go into the site editor for this and you can also go into pages on the left panel over here and then click on add new page and add a segregated page for your blogs. However, I want to display all of my blogs in the home page. So I'll click on edit page over here. And once I click on edit page, I have two options. I can edit with Elementor or just edit as I go. Now, you don't need to edit with Elementor. It's pretty simple. So you can just click on the top left and you can choose how you want to insert your blog. So I just searched for blog and it shows you the different ways you can insert your blog. And I want to just insert it like this. I'll just take this and this has been inserted over here. And then I'll just click on update. And now I can click on view page over here to see whether or not our page has been inserted. It might take a couple of seconds for this to be completely synced up, but in this way you can display your blog posts as well. Now, if you want to see your entire blog post, just go into posts and then click on view. Now, once you click on view, you will see your blog post. However, if you want to link to your blog post in your menu bar or navigation bar, for that, you have to go back into the WordPress site and then you can go into your settings over here. And once you go into settings, you can go into the navigation bars and edit your navigation bar as well. Now, this is totally dependent on how you want to structure your website and how you want your WordPress dashboard to appear. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.